Hi guys, it's Adam here from Snap Revise to give you our list of the top 10 hardest A-levels. Students doing their A-levels always like to claim that their subjects are the hardest, even if it may seem easy to other people. Whilst it is true that all A-levels are hard, there are still some which seem to be much harder than the rest. Hopefully this post will settle once and for all which 10 A-levels are the hardest of them all. Number 1. Modern Foreign Languages Anyone who takes Spanish, French or German will tell you that the amount of time a language requires is huge. Not only do you have to learn mountains of grammar, there's also specific vocabulary for each topic and you have to develop your other skills like speaking and listening. Studying a language definitely requires a lot of dedication. Number 2. Further Maths Quite obviously, further maths is going to be a difficult A-level, despite having one of the highest percentages of people achieving A-stars. This takes your regular maths a step further, so usually it is only taken by the most confident mathematicians. Number 3. History Another subject with absolutely tons of information to learn. Unfortunately, this one also requires you to find the perfect essay structure and amazing exam technique. Finding the best way to write your essays takes time and practice, hence why it is seen as such a difficult A-level. Number 4. Physics any science is always going to be difficult, and physics is no exception. You have to have a good grasp on the application of concepts as well as maths, something which can become complicated quite quickly when you put it all together. Number five, English literature. Like with history, you'll have a lot of quotes to learn from all your material, and you'll have to figure out your perfect essay style as well. Essay demands can change massively from GCSE to A-level, so it can take a lot of practice to find your style all over again, which will allow you to achieve those top marks. Number six, chemistry. This is often referred to as the hardest science due to the massive amounts of knowledge required, coupled with the need to be able to apply it to so many different situations. Some of the concepts you're required to learn are quite complicated when you first come across them, and sometimes there are more exceptions to the rule than there are examples that follow it. Number seven, maths. Whilst it isn't as difficult as further maths, it definitely still deserves a place on this list. Depending on how you coped at GCSE, and whether you took further maths GCSE, it can be a huge jump between GCSE and A-level. Maths will always require you to spend a lot of time practicing until you can apply your methods to any problem that the exam board throws at you. Number eight, psychology. Despite being considered a soft subject by the majority of universities, it is still a difficult subject to revise for. You'll have to memorize details of several course studies for A2, as well as be able to plan your own experiments and know details about the different research methods. Even though the content isn't difficult, there is definitely a lot to get through. Number nine, biology. Some people may consider it the easiest science, but that does not mean it is a walk in the park. Biology tends to be more content heavy, as there is usually less maths to go alongside it. This means that you'll not only have a massive pile of content to memorize, you'll also have to perfect your exam technique so that you can apply the content to any of the scenarios that they choose to throw at you. Number 10, music. Another subject considered soft by most universities, when in reality it requires a lot of talent. In order to achieve the highest grades, you need to be able to play pieces that are both complex and entertaining, as well as learning all of the theory that goes alongside it. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing A-level resource, join me and my friends today in our series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the Snap Revise smiley face, and together let's make your A-levels a walk in the park.